Rhino, what's up, brother? All right, so I got something for you that would be kind of neat to check out is your swing. This is before and after. This is on the left side. This is your swing as of January 11th was the last time that we filmed you. Not the last time we worked together because I think we've worked together once between then. But this, then now this one, this one we are way too exaggerated with our back leg. But I want you to look past that on here because there are a couple things. Now we were going pretty hot and heavy at this time and you were you were cranking it, I'm pretty sure. And our after, which was this last weekend. So I have both swings synced up and I want you to notice how far farther for, forward you travel on the before swing. So you lift that foot up. See the difference in where our ball markers are? Actually, this one you're kind of, I can't see the back one, it's not, I don't think it's that important, but, but the difference, let's see, and the knee, and I'm not exactly correct on, let's grab, uh, let's grab, let's just draw a line, how about that? Okay, back foot starts here, I mean front foot, front foot starts here. Let's see, it just looks like the other, and even with this before, we probably could pick that foot up a little higher instead of kind of reaching for the ground, see how you're reaching for the ground? Instead just lift it up, and instead of reach for the ground right away, just lift it up and let your body naturally fall forward. So I think what's happening is we're using a little bit too much of our hands, and you'll see that in the, in the after photo, but at, let's, let's put your foot down and we'll draw a line. Okay, right at your heel. So here, and then heel is here. So as you can see, I know that was kind of a crooked line. But as you can see, you're a little farther forward in your before. And we look more athletic in this stance. Whereas in your, your after, it looks like you're just kind of holding back a little bit. You're sitting back. And it might be something that coaches have kind of been brainwashing you with and you subconsciously started doing this. But you are sitting back a little bit and using a little bit too much of your hands, and so you can really see your hands actually get out in front of your hips. So if we, if I get you a contact, see the difference. Even though look past this big old exaggerated back leg that we had before, and I want more of the leg that you have now. But you can see your hips are turned way more in your before than they are here. It doesn't look like they're even even anywhere yet. Just look at your pinstripe right down your leg. Look at your pinstripes lagging behind. So this tells me that you're using a lot of your hands right now, and this has probably just been a compensation because over the last couple of weeks that's struggling a little bit. So we're trying to get things moving. You're not really getting much forward as much forward momentum as you were before, and you're kind of just reaching out. So this is almost like the old Ryan, except we're moving our feet a little better than the old old the beginning when we first started, where you're more up and down. I think we're because of this back leg and what it's doing here and how far it'll jump forward we're a little bit more upright we're not at we don't have as much of our back angle as we could probably if we were if we had this leg from your after but you're more up and down here in this position see your back leg off the ground remember look past that but if we look at the angle so if I maybe if, say if we put our foot down back foot down about right here we measured your heel through your head your spine you got 70 degrees there. We'll erase that, and then we'll go back here. Whoop. Angle. So we'll go back foot here, heel here. Make sure I'm level, and then your head, your spine. So you're 74 degrees. So you're definitely more up and down. We're just not getting that forward momentum to work for us, and that's why your hands have started to take over again. But you can really see that. See our our markers down here with our foot. If we back up your swing, how far, how much farther forward you traveled before in January when you're doing pretty good, and just kind of letting you're just picking it up and just letting that letting that body fall forward. Just let it fall. Don't try and stop it prematurely because then you're going to end up moving, making another compensation. You start moving forward your eyes and different things like that. But I like this before stride better, even though we could probably be a little better on that just because we keep traveling. We shouldn't have to keep traveling. We should be able to pick that foot up and let it fall naturally wherever it wants to fall instead of reaching out. You see how you're reaching out on both of them? 
but especially in the in that the after you're definitely reaching out more and sitting back more trying to sit back on that back leg so I want you to get a little bit more committal onto that front leg just pick it up and naturally let it fall forward let it fall wherever it falls you don't think too much about it don't try and stop yourself don't try and do something with your body that's going to cause you to compensate and then I want to see your back leg I like your back leg I just think maybe we're not getting fully rotated so when you go through your drills this week at contact I want you to really power your spine I want you to when you go through your turns I want you to power that spine as hard as you can when you go into your turn so I want to see your hips in your before in your after here so we're piecemealing what we got here I want to see the front leg from your before swing a little bit more natural of a fall I want to see your your back leg from your after swing so we're not really moving our foot that much this one was really good we were in line with the ball here but I want to see your this turning of your spine from your before okay much better you're hitting that ball with your spine and you're not hitting that with your your hands as much you're using your hands but not quite as much as you are in the after swing so that's definitely what's going on that's not something I could catch with my with the naked eye so I'm glad I filmed you so something to work on up until Wednesday and I will let your dad know on that if I am able to make it or not but that's what's happening man so watch this video a couple times so you can get you can soak it in and see what you gotta do but you can see you're really not getting your hip through contact and your, far, your pinstripes farther forward even past contact than it is here so I want you to be aggressive with your spine when you turn and like I said talked about having the front leg action of the fall natural fall of your before have the hips and your spine turning of your spine as your before and then take the back leg of the after and you got it man you're gonna go four for four on Wednesday with a couple stand-up doubles and God willing home run so anyway brother that's it if you got any questions you know where to find me text me call me email me whatever you want to do and hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday if not I'll hear how things went but if you work on this and do pretty good with it you'll be fine Hi, brother.